propellant officer reports that uh, the burn is in progress. The guidance navigation and control officer reports that the burn looks good and the guidance of the vehicle looks good. Thirty seconds into the burn, all continuing to go smoothly, all quiet in the control center as uh, flight controllers monitor their uh, data. Minute remaining in this burn. At the time of ignition, Atlantis was traveling 17,086 miles per hour. Copy that, Atlantis. Look good to us, too. Atlantis now 34 minutes and 30 seconds away from beginning to encounter the Earth's atmosphere and one hour and five minutes away from touchdown at Edwards Air Force Base. Tree software is initiated by the crew. The digital autopilot aboard Atlantis begins to respond to commands and sensors that will indicate the orientation of the orbiter. Atlantis preparing to cross the equator to begin its final orbit, 93. this time the reaction control system jets uh, aboard Atlantis are beginning to be used for uh, reaction control as uh, in support of the flight control surfaces prior to entry interface. Processing systems officer reports that the uh, entry software is now in OPS 304, that is the entry phase of the uh, flight. Long-range optical cameras at Vandenberg now sighting Atlantis as it approaches the west coast of California. Propellant officer reports all of the uh, reaction control system jet uh, residuals look good. Flight dynamics officer reports that runway 33 is still go. Winds are within limits. Atlantis Houston, like a state vector transfer to the BFS, please. Roger, Edward. Roger. Atlantis now at 132,000 feet, descending at a rate of 279 feet per second. Atlantis now traveling Mach 5, or 3,500 miles per hour. Altitude now 124,000 feet, descending at a rate of 290 feet per second. Range now 148 miles. Atlantis now approaching the Channel Islands off of the coast of California. Now into the second roll reversal of the uh, landing sequence. Altitude now 107,000 feet, descending at a rate of 297 feet per second. Atlantis now traveling 2,700 miles per hour. Houston, like another state vector transfer to the BFS. 
Atlantis's altitude is now 91,000, traveling 2,010 miles per hour, descending at a rate of 290 feet per second. Atlantis, their data looks good to us. You can take it. Roger, we'll take our data. Atlantis now uh, taking data for, located from air data probes on either side of the nose of the vehicle. Altitude now 81,000 feet, traveling 200 and traveling 1,309 miles per hour. Houston, Steve, latest weather is uh, the winds are 010, 18 gusts to 21, the 15 knot headwind, 10 to 12 from the right, altimeter 2995. 2995, Roger. Now viewing Atlantis from uh, long range cameras at the Edwards Air Force Base. Atlantis now altitude 71,000 feet, descending at 193 feet per second. Range now 59 nautical miles. Flight Dynamics Officer reports that Atlantis is right on the money now at 62,000 feet descending at 318 feet per second. Four minutes, 15 seconds away from touchdown. Atlantis now 51,000 feet, descending at 310 feet per second. Vehicle now approaching Mach 1, or 640 miles per hour. Control of Atlantis now under the control of the pilot and commander. Atlantis now at 38,000 feet. Commander Steve Nagel now flying the vehicle. Sonic booms heard at the uh, landing site now. Atlantis 32,000 feet, descending at a rate of 362 feet per second. Flight Dynamics Officer reports that Atlantis looks good on the heading alignment circle. That is the circle around which Atlantis will set itself up for a runway approach to runway 33.
Atlantis now making a wide right overhead turn, 270 degree turn as it approaches runway 33 at Edwards Air Force Base, altitude now 17,000 feet, descending at a rate of 98 feet per second. One minute, 30 seconds from touchdown. Atlantis now 13,700 feet altitude. Descending at a rate of 200 feet per second. Altitude now 7,400 feet, descending at a rate of 102 feet per second. 45 seconds. Atlantis now converging on the center line of runway 33 at Edwards Air Force Base. Landing gear now down and locked. Main gear touchdown. Nose gear touchdown. Atlantis now rolling out on Edwards runway 33. Copy, wheel stop, Atlantis. Steve, you and your crew did it all, and you made it look easy. Congratulations on a great job. No post-landing deltas right now. Thank you. Roger, Brian. External tank uh, umbilical doors now coming open on the rear end of Atlantis. Main gear touchdown was at 8.55 and 29 seconds, central daylight time. Nose wheel touchdown at 8.55 and 36 seconds. And wheel boarded at 8.56 and 26 seconds a.m. central daylight time.
Atlantis Houston. Steve, you have a go for extended power-up. Roger. 